Welcome back everybody. So in this video I'm gonna go over this new scope I just got and uh, I've been using it for a few nights and I took some video of some deer with it and uh, I actually got my first my first kill with it last night. I shot a beautiful red fox down here out back. I'm gonna show you that video but first let's talk about the the scope and I'll tell you what I think of it. So this is the Excite 4K Pro by ATN and uh, it is an absolutely awesome scope. This is a 5x20 magnification and uh, takes great video, 4K video. I've got it on my 6.5 Creedmoor here and uh, this is actually an aftermarket IR light. I didn't use the one that came with it. This one uh, works better. I got it on Amazon. but. Overall, this thing has been absolutely awesome. I'm really impressed with, uh, you know, the clarity of the video, the clarity looking through the scope, and uh, just how versatile it is. I mean, I was nervous about using all these settings and stuff while I was, you know, actually finding a target, but it's super easy to be looking through the scope and manipulating, you know, these buttons while you're doing so, and your zoom, but, Overall, it's really, really an awesome scope, and uh, I'd highly recommend it. So, with that being said, let's go down. Uh, first, I'm going to show you my kill shot last night on this Red Fox, and then we're going to go down and see if we can find it. It's uh, the next morning. It was late last night that I shot the Fox. Uh, let's go find it, and uh, after that, I'm going to show you some video taken with, with uh, the same scope. From my buddy out in Illinois that did some coyote hunting with it this year. Not this, you know, particular scope, but the same scope. If that makes sense. Okay, I figured I'd stop everybody right now and uh, introduce you to my buddy Patterson. Patterson and I kicked it off really quick. I had been at Fort Riley for about a year and then he came uh, into the unit and joined the platoon and uh, him and I, he came, I remember he came up to me and was like, do you hunt? And I'm like, do you hunt? And right then uh, it was it turned into a lifelong friendship and uh, that's who you're going to see this coyote footage from. He's going to get me a bunch more next year. He just got the X site as well and uh, he's been having a blast with it and he's out there in an area where there's a lot of coyotes. But I'll introduce you guys to Patterson right here on this video right after he got maced. This is a video I took <laughs> I took with my cell phone. We all had to get maced and tased and it was miserable. But uh, I remember him getting maced and I videoed it. So I'll throw this up for you just so you guys, I can introduce you to Patterson. And uh, this is him at his lowest right here. But you'll see him smack some coyotes at the end of this video. What do you think about it? Oh like, my God. Is it bad? This is the worst thing of my life. <laughs> like the worst? By far. That favorite got shit on this. Okay, so the fox actually came out of the woods right over there in the corner and came up the fence line and then crossed right here by that 100 yard target and went down into the bottom down there and was working up this drainage and ended up shooting it right, right in here. So we're going to walk down there and see if the dogs can find it. Kaylee asked, uh, Maybe the dogs shouldn't go down there. They're going to get muddy. I'm like, nah, they'll be fine. I think that they might get muddy. Now. <laughs> Scout, hey, hunt him up. Where's that fox? Where's that fox? Hunt him up. Should be 
right up here, I thought. My boots are totally full of snow. Okay, there's that fox's tracks right there from last night. See, here's that fox. Some of his tracks are right here. Looks like Scout might actually be onto something over here. Smell that fox, Riley? You smell it? Oh, that's gold, that's gold, that's gold, that's gold! Oh man, that's cold. <sighs> Dang, I should have got waders. Oh boy, that is so cold. <sighs> Hold him up. Where's that fox? Hold him up. Okay, this isn't fun anymore. Oh. First go is a fail. I'm too cold. Both boots full of ice cold water. We're gonna launch the drone to find this thing. Cold, cold, cold. Man, that's cold. Oh my gosh, that's cold. Oh. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna launch the drone and find that fox. Okay, so I got some uh, new socks and pants on and I sent the drone up and we located the located the fox. It's actually on the other side of that little slough of water that goes through there. So we're gonna hop on the snowmobile and drive around the backside. around the backside and uh, 
see if we can't get wet this time. Well, you can actually see where another fox had come through here last night. Right here's some more. It snowed a little bit, but you can see that fox, it was a male, came and marked that little uh, pile of brush there and walked up through there. So I should have stayed up all night and I would have doubled. Let's go find this bugger in here. I have it marked right in front of these three bushes right here, so let's see. Oh, I'm gonna try not to get wet this go around. Okay. There is no easy way of walking through this crap, but I have that fox marked right up here. There he is, right there. Yep, he came and stood right up on here and I let him have it from right up there. Oh boy! Oh man! Six five put a freaking whale of a hole in him. Jeepers. Well, big male. Nice red fox. We're just gonna have to do some sewing, but we got him. We got him. I probably should have waited and shot him broadside and just poked a hole through each side, but I shot him right here in the chest and the round went out right there. But. Real nice red fox either way. We'll go ahead and skin them up. And... Beautiful. First kill with the new with the new uh, with the new sight or scope. Boy, he's stinking.
Okay, we got the fox all hung up here, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and skin them out just like this. And he's gone. And just like that, fox is all skun out. Beautiful red fox. It's got a cool little black spot on its tail right there. The hole actually isn't too bad. It's uh, just on the back side here where the hole is. So you really can't see that where the round exited. Obviously put a heck of a hole in that fox though. How good you can see that. But it'll look nice on the wall. Okay, everybody, that's going to do it for this video. I really appreciate everybody watching. That was my first ever kill with the new scope on the 6.5 Creedmoor, and uh, it's a blast. I think I'm going to get a little bit more into predator hunting next fall, being uh, the fox season's over now. But uh, I really want to thank the patrons of the channel. You guys are uh, really the heartbeat behind the channel, and I uh, can't thank you enough for that. Uh, all your support and I'm gonna have some more videos coming up soon I'm going to uh, have a video on the patreon account that uh, pretty much overviews all the biggest deer uh, I've ever had on the farm up here and uh, just kind of talk about those deer what happened to them or what maybe happened to them uh, anyways appreciate everybody watching have a good one